Hey guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita, and today we're gonna show you how to fill holes and trim in baseboards before painting. So if you're gonna be painting your trim and baseboards, you definitely wanna take a look and see if there are any nail holes or imperfections that you need to take care of before painting. And this is what we typically use. It's DAP Dry Deck Spackling, and we love that it's it goes on pink, and then as it dries and is ready to paint, it turns white, which is great for beginners, so you don't have to even think about when it's ready to paint. So you wanna start by taking a good look at your baseboards. If you just installed them, you, they'll be definite visible nail holes and you can just fill those we typically just use like our index finger with the spackle and just push it into each nail hole and you want to leave a little bit on top so you want to overfill it a little bit because you're going to be sanding these smooth once it's all dry and you if you didn't want to use your finger it's totally fine you could use just like a flat putty knife those are really affordable to buy um, and they work the same just be sure to overfill it and have a little bit of spackle on top of the hole so you have something to sand and the hole gets completely filled so you'll also want to take a good look at all of the seams and you can use the same spackling on the seams but instead of using your finger you definitely want to use a putty knife for this as you can see here we are just glopping that spackle onto the seam pretty thick and then you just want to scrape it smooth but again keep it overfilled so you have something to sand and it'll fill that whole line don't forget about getting the tops of the baseboards where that seam is visible and then you can see here as it starts drying it turns white and then once it's all dry it's completely white and you're ready to sand and while it's uh, drying is a good time to put down painters tape on the floor to protect it because the next step is going to be painting usually we just use a sanding block to sand it really smooth and then be sure to get all that sanding dust up with a shop vac and then we also usually wipe everything down with just a slightly damp rag next you can move on to painting and for painting baseboards we usually use bare ultra paint and we use a semi-gloss finish and one thing that we do in our house is we keep all of our trim and baseboards and door paint the exact same color throughout the entire house so we never have to try to remember what color it is um, and it makes touch up easy because we usually always have that paint on hand and we usually use a roller for uh, painting the paint onto the baseboards and we just run it along the top and then along the front. So this is how it looks like once it's all painted. And of course we still need to go back and touch up and do the walls, but this is how it turned out. We were working on the baseboards in our living room. So these are the baseboards that you saw us patching and they look great, don't they? Once the room was all done. Uh, if you wanna see more of this room renovation, we have a full video walking the whole tutorial through that renovation. Um, it's a long video, so be sure to check that out. Lots of fun stuff in that. And then while you're here, subscribe to our channel. If you liked this video, we share weekly DIY and renovating videos. All right, see you next week. Bye-bye.